Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with files and directories using Python's pathlib module. Pathlib is a module for manipulating the file system that is the files and directories on your computer or server. To get started let's import the path class from the pathlib module. This class allows us to create path objects which encode information about the location of files and directories in the file system. In this case we have a directory named data which contains some text files and here we create a path object that points towards this directory which we then store under the variable corpus underscore dir. Path objects have a lot of useful methods. We can for example use the exists method to check whether the path is valid that is whether the path points towards a file or directory that exists. This method returns a boolean value that is true or false and in this case the method returns true so we can be sure that the path is valid. We can also check whether the path points towards a directory using the is underscore dir method. In this case the method returns true which means that the path actually points towards a directory. We can also use the isFile method to check whether the path points towards a file which in this case returns false. Now that we know that the path object points towards a directory we can use the glob method to collect all the text files in this directory. The glob method requires a single argument pattern which takes a string as input. This string defines the names of the files to be collected. In this cell we call the glob method of the path object stored under the variable corpus underscore dir and provide a pattern that matches all the files that have the suffix txt which is commonly used for text files. The asterisk functions as a so-called wildcard character which can stand for any sequence of characters in the file name. Because the glob method returns a python generator object we also cast the output into a list. We then store this list under the variable files. We also call the variable files to examine the result and in this case we have a python list with three path objects that point towards the text files in the directory. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this brief video useful. And if you have any questions about the use of Pathlib, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.